Have you ever been looking at something on a computer, something you shouldn't be looking at, and someone walks in on you? What you doing? Nothing, nothing. And in your panic, you delete the file. You figure you can always recover it from the recycle bin in the future anyway. Oh hey, I hope you don't mind. I used your computer, I needed some space, so I emptied out the recycle bin. What? There are lots of ways that data can be lost or corrupted. Pets unplugging wires, brownouts or lightning strikes, or the occasional jealous partner deleting files. What's up internet? And I feel you. Whether that data is a work file, a video, a picture, a music file, more and more we tend to hang on to data. More and more certain pieces of data become very important to us. Sometimes it's critical that you can get that data back. Unfortunately, your file recovery skills only extend up to recovering it from the recycle bin and that's no longer an option in this case. The bin has been emptied, there's no way to restore that file. I was in the same boat, I had no experience with any kind of data recovery software, but I ended up trying out Wondershare's Recoverit program. Storage can actually be quite confusing. There's a lot of jargon, there are a lot of terms. NTFS, is that the same as an NFT? Partitions, FAT32, RAID. RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 5, NAS. There's a lot of jargon involved, so I was afraid using data recovery software would be equally impenetrable, a slog to get through. I wanted to recover my file, but would I need to navigate through a train wreck of a UI to do it? Actually, recovery it is super easy to use. Anyone with a passing knowledge of Windows Explorer will feel right at home. First, it starts out by showing you all of your drives. Thanks to Recovery It, I even found an unallocated portion of an existing drive, which actually was quite large, over a gigabyte. Yes, I could have seen that same information in Windows Disk Management, but how often does anyone really open that program? Also, the color choices of the UI of Recover It make it easier for the user to understand the different partitions and what's going on with their drive as compared to the drab colors of Windows Disk Management. Next up is to scan the drive where the deleted file is located. Recover It goes in real deep. I got my current PC around 2016 and I was seeing old files from way back in 2016 from the very first time I started started using my current setup. There's also an option for deep scan, which means the software will take its sweet time to try to really figure out what deleted files are on the drive and to see if it can be recovered. Once recovery it has found the file that you need, you simply select it, press recover, and cross your fingers. It's recommended that you save the recovered file to an external drive. This is to avoid overwriting the data. This lessens the probability that the data that you're trying to recover will be overwritten or otherwise be messed up by all of the activity going on with your storage. Every time you try to restore a file using Recover It, it will save it in a timestamp folder. So it's really simple to find the file that you're looking for. You just need to remember when you tried to recover it. From there, just click the appropriate folder, click the file, say a quick prayer, and try to open it. Whew, still there. Childhood memories are precious. What? A lot of our files now, whether they're for personal use or for work, are in video format. And Recovery it has special options dedicated to video recovery. It has advanced video recovery and corrupted video recovery. Basically, advanced recovery takes its time to do a deeper scan to see what possible files can be unearthed from your drive. Similar, I guess, to the deep scan option I previously talked about. Corrupted video recovery deals with you manage to find the file, recover it, but it's still not playing properly. Corrupted video recovery will try to take that recovered file or a file corrupted, let's say from poor recording or an error happened while you were recording and try to fix that file. Try to get it into a state that it's actually playable or something can be seen. I did try the video recovery feature as well with some of our shorter clip which I use for our Instagram Reels. 
So as a test, I deleted the file, went through the recovery process, and when I clicked on the file, it was just like new. It was exactly like the video file I deleted. Not all data recovery software is created equal, and people were telling me about other programs that worked only some of the time. This was a sponsored post, so we did get compensation to highlight certain features of the product, but honestly, I was surprised by how well recovery actually worked. The process was straightforward, the UI was intuitive, and at the end of the day, I was able to recover the deleted files. Proper data backup should be your primary defense against situations like this. You don't want to be in a situation where you had critical data and you only had one copy. But stuff happens in the real world and whether you had a backup and it failed or you had no backup at all, there will always come a time where you will actually have to try to recover data. And recover it has worked well enough that I would rely on it in the future in case something like this happens to me again. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na afford na namin tukupuan na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.